What is going on guys, it's CG here and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the new tech tier and what we can all expect to see. Ark is getting cybernetic power suits and laser cannon dino helmets in its first tech tier update. Soon, Ark will finally attempt to make good use of those futuristic floating obelisks in the sky by introducing the tech tier, the first of many updates on its path to version 1.0 early next year. The tech tier is a new endgame technology tier in Ark's crafting system. Among the items to drop in the first update, which should land in the next coming weeks, Ark will get the tech armor, the tech rifle and the Giga tech helmet. Every new piece of tech has a powerful ability or two to make them desirable for more than their looks. The tech helmet comes with a handy HUD that can highlight creatures and other players. It can color them based on whether they are hostile, neutral or friendly. A night vision mode rounds it out, making viable at any hour. Tech Gauntlet pack a powerful super punch that can send men flying. The chest piece has a jetpack that does what jetpacks do, and those shiny metallic pants let you speed boost across the entire maps in no time, even through destructible materials. The most intriguing aspect of the tech tier rollout, especially for long time players of Ark, will be the underwater bases. Those are coming in another update, early next year as part of the tech tier. As cool as it is, the new tech tier can't be used with reckless abandon. Every ability and function requires element, a rare resource you can only get by completing endgame challenges, and there are plenty more coming in the next 6 months or so. So far there is not any definite news on what we can expect to see in the tech tier updates, however the wiki page does state a few items which we can all expect to see in the future tech tier updates. Taking a look at the confirmed list, we have a teleporter, power armor which is the tech armor which we've seen in the trailer, surveillance equipment, heat vision, underwater bases that are vacuum sealed, a force field, shield generators, cloaking devices, plasma rifles, plasma swords, an unnamed tech tier grenade, and all of these structures and equipment will be using the endgame resource called Element. Black pearls will also be needed for crafting tech tier equipment, and we can also expect to see the dino armor. So if you've seen the trailer, it's like the Rex armor with the cannon, and it has that transforming helmet on its head. That will also be compatible for the Giga and the Mosasaurus. Since after the tech tier trailer did come out, there was a lot of people complaining about it, whether it's being overpowered and all this sort of stuff, but it turns out it is going to be balanced. Apparently there are going to be separate servers which allow only the tech armor. So if you sort of think about Primitive Plus for example, imagine that reversed but with tech armor instead of the primitive stuff. So you were allowed all the high end game stuff there'll be servers with the high-end game stuff as well as the default game built in and then there'll be servers which limit tech tier stuff out of it so the maximum will be metal like it is now exactly what it is now so there'll be a whole bunch of new servers which will be awesome so people can choose whether they want to play with the new technology or stay as the default game as it currently is now there have been quite a few little fan photos made, I've got this one here which really stood out to me. It's sort of like this, I'm not going to say a painting because it's obviously done on computer, but it's a really nice picture of some underwater base. You can see a Mosasaur, you see some guys with tech armor on and it looks like they're going to attack this sort of underwater base which does look really cool. I really do like the art in this photo and it's just so good to look at and I can just imagine myself in sort of the same situation where I'd have an underwater base and I'd be like looking out through the windows defending it, I'd see a Mosasaurus or something coming for me or anything really, players on dinos and it would just be so awesome to watch the little lasers flying around underwater and the dinosaurs just trying to raid your little indestructible fish tank which just lies beneath the depths of the ocean. A little bit more info on the underwater bases and how they're going to work. So they will be vacuum sealed and if you don't know what that is basically it's just an underwater base without any water in it at all. So if you've seen any sort of space films with airlocks and stuff like that it is pretty similar to how that works. It stops any form of water getting into the base. It completely 
pumps all of it out back into the ocean so it's like a giant box or however you design your base and it'll just be filled with oxygen and air just like a normal house would on land. If the structure is completely enclosed, all the doors are closed and the unit per area called a ventilator is powered, then that volume will be free of water and you'll have oxygen. If it is not, you'll be underwater and won't have oxygen. You can construct airlocks to provide a method of entering and exiting that doesn't flood the inner compartments. So it works sort of similar to how sort of a space station or a space base does on all these other space games. It's pretty straightforward. Airlocks are pretty simple to make. It's sort of a room with two doors. I'll probably go over all of this stuff when this game is finished and this update is obviously out. I don't know why I'm talking about how to actually build one now or what I think it building one's going to be like because obviously it's not even out yet. But I have sort of an idea how airlocks will be made and everything and I will hopefully be able to do some videos on this tech tier stuff once it gets released. When I first sort of took a look at the tech tier and saw the trailer, I was pretty dis not. I'm not going to say disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm, I was pretty angry with the game, pretty angry with the developers for what they'd done. Because obviously it's a dinosaur setting, you're meant to be surviving in a prehistoric environment, and then all of a sudden, where do you get these energy weapons from? But it has been part of the game's list ever since launch, ever since they decided to create this game, they all wanted to create a tech tier, which would make you as the humans rise above every other species on the island. Now I can only imagine that as this game progresses, it's going to get so much more intense, maps are going to be completely redesigned, dinos are going to be completely changed and everything's going to be a whole bunch upgraded. Loads of stuff is going to be happening, the whole game's going to change, like give it another year or two and you won't even look at Ark the same way as you do now, everything will be completely new and it's just going to be such an awesome future for the game. Not too sure what to expect. And obviously the devs are going to have to do some sort of balancing and making things fair. They do mention Element being an extremely hard resource to get. But how hard exactly do they mean by extremely hard? It says you get them by completing challenges. Is that the equivalent to defeating bosses? Or sort of, I know, that you get a challenge for exploring every single cave, getting every single artifact and bang, you get a certain amount of resource elements. Or you have to go to some extremely difficult place on the map, do some certain task, or maybe you have to find all of the, what are they, the explorer notes, and once you get all that, you get element or something. I'm not too sure how it's gonna work. It's gonna be an extremely hard element or resource to get, and that's gonna be pretty much it. So it is gonna be sort of balanced in terms of pricing and making it, but in terms of its firepower and the sheer force it will have, obviously we'll see how that pans out when it's fully released. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content. I'll see you all in the next video.